teams. Also, be nice. Which one of you was gonna tell me that tea tastes different if you put it in hot water? You were putting it in cold water? Radish, answer the question, radish. Yeah? <laughs> Oh, I thought for like five years that people just put in hot water to speed up the teaification process. I didn't realize there was an actual reason. What? <laughs> you think I have the patience to boil water? What? You don't have the patience to microwave water for three minutes? Oh dear God. <laughs> Why are you putting it in the microwave to boil it? Do you think patience to boil water on the stove? Well, we're not telling you to start a fire. <laughs> it takes less than a minute. Bestie, is your stovetop powered by the f***ing sun? What? <laughs> How long does it take you to boil a cup of water on the stove? Like seven minutes. Just stick the mug on top of the stove on medium heat and it boils like in two minutes. Less than that is you use a saucepan. Crying. You're putting the whole mug on the stove <laughs> on medium heat? Your stove is enchanted. Every single person in this post is a f***ing lunatic. Do none of you own a f***ing kettle? My, my grandmother watches these videos. <laughs> she calls me every week and she tells me, oh, I watched your new video. And <laughs> seeing this post is gonna give her an aneurysm. What's up? My beardos and weirdos, one topic here. And today we're looking at Tumblr memes. <laughs> I've been gone for a minute. Hi, my computer, as much as I love it, it died, corrupted all of my files. <sighs> right when I was getting ready for a big video, I was having a ton of stream just I was having a ton of fun just streaming with all of you and I was playing different video games and I was like, I'll put off making a video. And then... Oh, that is typical. Something horrifying happened. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to forgive it, but I am back. All right, let's 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 just get started. Let's do this. <laughs> a threesome with two doms using you where one degrades you and the other praises you. You call that good top, bad top. <laughs> I get it. It's like good cop, bad cop. Because of the handcuffs. <laughs> don't don't look at me. <laughs> it's gonna make me laugh. The BBC first publication: How to be polite and show respect. In the old days of feudal Japan, a samurai warrior would shout, "You are trying to view flash content, but you have no flash plugin installed." <laughs> <laughs> Truly ahead of their time. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Every life has worth. They are precious lives, not meals. Holds fish out of water. Oh, damn. <laughs> PETA. Is PETA parody at this point? I swear. You remember the pregnant bird with boobs? <laughs> this man can't be fixed. I can f him though. Maybe that will calm him down. <laughs> JK Rowling's editor. It's a bit strange that you have a story set here in England that doesn't have a single Irish character. JK Rowling finishing up writing <laughs> Mikko Carbom's backstory. I was just thinking that. We've made flashlights, but we haven't made reverse flashlights. <laughs> Artificial darkness would be funny as hell though. I'd love to beam a line of night directly into someone's face. <laughs> Go to the void. <laughs> Surprise your friends, banish your enemies. <laughs> what are your actual bookshelf red flags? Please do not say American Psycho. Funko Pop. <laughs> Poor guy couldn't even think of a book. <laughs> Good job, internet. You bullied NFTs out of mainstream games. Sickos. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You. Why are you having a salad? Are you five years old? A friend of mine is allergic to salad. When he eats salad, he literally throws up. Okay. I am not your friend who is allergic to salad though. Who's on Tumblr? <laughs> who are these people? Picks that make you go, hmm, hmm. Okay, but can someone explain to me why someone would need that many control panels open in Windows XP? Oh my God. That comment made me feel so f***ing old. Oh, ow. <laughs> I mean, sure, I was just becoming conscious on the tail end of this, but like, 
Damn. <laughs> Am I getting old? Weather boy. <laughs> Derogatory. OP. What does this mean? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? <laughs> 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 okay, while I'm dying, can we just, can we play the clip? <laughs> then a day, and then the 4th of July. Here's like an actual customer out here. Uh, what's, uh, what's the best kind of firework to buy? Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? <laughs> Where are your parents? <laughs> Back to you guys. Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, it's been too long. I'm not used to laughing. I'm actually crying. Fever is a hilarious immune response. Our bodies tell the disease, Hey, want to see which one of us dies of overheating first? No? Too bad. And honestly, they're not even the winners a decent chunk of the time, but it works often enough that we never evolved it away or anything. Fantastic work. Technically, they're the same. Uh... <laughs> What? <laughs> How? How do I even check this? How do I even Google this? Is this a Digimon thing? Like 90% of the Digimon had boobs, right? So, so I'm pretty sure they're both Digimon then. Do I Google Digimon boobs? <laughs> when I was 17, I told my mom I went to a friend's house for a sleepover, but I actually went to Germany with a rich 50 year old man. It was traumatizing, but I felt so alive. I, I'm dizzy. <laughs> It's about time I contributed to the online discourse. Bricks are domesticated rocks. Stop. <laughs> Let them speak. <laughs> Let them cook. <laughs> Yo, this old lady on Facebook got angry at me, so she threatened to call my job and report my rude behavior to my boss. So she got my information from my page. Are you still a cashier at the Krusty Krab? I will be contacting your employer and your parents and relatives. She's gonna try to call Mr. Krabs on me, y'all. She's gonna try to contact Bikini Bottom. <laughs> She's gonna call a number and ask, is this the Krusty Krab? And the person who answered the phone will have a choice to make. Me, trying to spell something in French. Uh, I, I think that's enough vowels. The French language. You fool, <laughs> you insolent coward. Les Français parlent comme ça. <laughs> it is scientifically impossible not to read this with a French accent. Um, I'm French and please, we don't all talk like that. Arg. <laughs> um, I'm French and please, we don't talk. Allez, look you, zag. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have Aries placements? N no, I have autism. Virgo time? Girl, what? No. BPD. <laughs> I'm never deleting TikTok. Me explaining to my therapist that I need friends so I can mimic their personality because I have no personality of my own. Are you a Libra? <laughs> Girl, I have a personality disorder. Oh no. Mad Scientist Ethics Board that makes sure that a project is sufficiently unethical before providing funding. Sometimes you get a normal scientist trying to apply with a regular invention that just has a, a puppy shredder attached to it with hot glue or sticky tape. You'd think they'd be disqualified for that, but trying to cheat the system to get the research funding actually adds a lot of unethical points. <laughs> no, wait. Let him cook. <laughs> Once my grandma told me that she could read minds, but doesn't do it because it's of the devil. Grandma, what? <laughs> I was born an identical twin shortly after 9-11. My mom is convinced me and my sister are the Twin Towers reincarnate. Huh? <laughs> mom, what? I f Ing love Irish slang. It's the most creative craft ever. Today I heard a coffin being referred to as a, <laughs> a wooden onesie. In the sentence, Ah, oh, Jesus, me nanny looks better than ye, and she's in a bleeding wooden onesie. And it was honestly life changing. A genderqueer superhero who wears a binder and hides their face so everyone assumes they're male, but then they have C cups and never bind as a civilian so their secret identity is safe. I forgot about chest binders for a moment and thought they strapped a two inch binder to their face. That is exactly what they do. It's just five star. <laughs> it's a pretty good superhero name, actually. Five star. <laughs> yes, may I help you? I'm looking for a book. I think it was blue. Oh, God, no. Not a week goes by without me remembering this Joan and Vasquez strip, and I so often want to reference it, and I keep forgetting it is not, in fact, a well-known meme. Did you see the Netflix Invaders in movie? I was a little bit worried they weren't going to be faithful to the original 
original series, but I really enjoyed it. As an adult, revisiting a cartoon from my childhood. I love drinking water while taking a pee every chance I get to remind myself of my status as, ultimately, just a loud little tube with opinions. <laughs> Single, by the way. I can't imagine why. NHS blood supplies drop critically low, sparking first ever Amber Alert. What? In the US, an Amber Alert is used to mean a child in the area has been kidnapped, so this makes it sound like the British government is now snatching kids and stealing their blood. <laughs> a little girl and her mom were looking at me at the coffee shop this morning, and I heard the mom say, Go on. It's okay. And the little girl shuffled up to me and said, Excuse me, please? Do you have to put on your tattoos by yourself every day? Or does your mom help you? I am dying. A focus group. This could have been avoided with one focus group of women. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> it, ha it, ha it had to be intentional. You can't do this by accident, please. Someone submitted the design as a joke and they were just like, Oh, yeah, that looks good. <laughs> I laughed so hard I gave myself an asthma attack. By the way, this can be found on Amazon. Pasadena Pool Float. One reviewer says they tried it, but it sucked all the water out of the pool. Beautiful. I understood the assignment. <laughs> Come hither, fool! The fool jingled miserably across the floor. This has got to be the funniest sentence I've seen all day. I'm gonna cry. Oh, please! Everyone has gay thoughts sometimes. So what I'm hearing is that heteronormativity is so ingrained that a significant percentage of the population regularly experiences bisexual attraction, but dismisses it as something that all straight people experience? This is so concerning. Are you guys okay? Lol, women slash men are so hot it's a shame i'm straight buddy i got news for you uh, <laughs> i'm pretty sure bisexuality is actual default settings and we've all just been shamed into thinking that it's not the case hello white mutuals before you is a charcuterie board with 15 types of cheese if you manage to go 12 hours without touching the cheeses you can leave this room good luck uh, I, I was eating off this cool cheese plate while you were talking can you repeat that please today i learned that because of a mistranslation jimmy carter told the polish people in 1977 that he desired them carnally and that he had left the united states to never return what <laughs> Imagine being a Polish citizen and you hear the American president say he's here to f and he's not leaving. Oh no, Jimmy Carter, why? Go back to your little peanut farm. <laughs> Today I learned that Charles Osborne had the hiccups nonstop for approximately 68 years. From 1922 to 1990. His hiccups first started in 1922 while weighing a hog for slaughter. He fell and busted a blood vessel in his brain, resulting in him damaging a small part of the brain that inhibits the hiccup response. Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me that the default is yes. Yes, hiccups? And there's a part of the brain that's specifically designed to say no hiccups instead? You sound surprised that humans are so badly designed. <laughs> oh no! Yes, but what a shame, what a shame the poor groom's bride is. Uh, Thor? Some people will have no f***ing idea how funny this is if they haven't heard the story. I love watching documentaries about amusement park accidents because all of the park officials are saying, Oh dear God! None of us could have anticipated that the roller coaster car would detach. This is a freak accident, an act of God. And then the narrator is like, The D Twister 9000 was a known safety hazard and rabies vector since its inception. It was designed by the disgraced Cirque du Soleil clown, John Roosters, who had never seen a math textbook. <laughs> I have a friend who wears a mask, and if he were here, he'd narrow his eyes and lower his voice and say, I wear a mask each night so you won't ever have to. Petition to DC to add little bat ears to the speech bubbles every time someone imitates Batman. These aren't hockey pads. <laughs> Craigslist house share ad. I have a garden growing in my shower, so you have to use eco-friendly hair products. You will see worms and other insects, and you will occasionally see a spider too, but they all help out the ecosystem. Uh, um, okay. <laughs> I don't think that's as bad necessarily because you can stand on the tiles, okay? Hear me out. It's not as bad as the fact that you're gonna have to use incredibly cold water. 
You can't ever have a hot shower again. That would boil every plant, let alone all of the little creatures in there. It would boil every plant. It would ruin the garden. So you know, you know they've turned off all the hot water in the house. Only cold water. This is the handbook that each actor who plays Aladdin at Disney World is given. Park safety. Although we want every Disney guest to have fun, our number one priority is safety. Because of this, Aladdin will never under any circumstances kill a park guest unless it is absolutely necessary to save the lives of a greater number of park guests. This is referred to as Aladdin's exception. Sir, we have a person taken hostage in Frontierland. <laughs> Send in the straight rat. <laughs> honey is vegan. I don't really care if a bee is like, where's all the honey I've been making? They probably get over it really fast. Their brains are very small. Bees choose to live in a box where they know damn well that a large fraction of the honey will periodically be removed instead of simply leaving that place like they are perfectly able to do. Because the human box comes with an invulnerable titan to guard them against all threats, the bees consider the payment offered to the colossal mercenary to be a pretty good deal. Bees know about supply and demand. Protection money. Protection honey. No homo! Cries the team at the dig site. The head archaeologist sinks to his knees, sobbing. He has dedicated his entire career to the pursuit of homo habilis, an important part of the hominid evolutionary line. All his work led up to this archaeological dig site, but now his whole life has been for nothing. There is no homo. There is only Australopithecus. I read this to a group of archaeologists and they completely lost their sh I'm obsessed with how the gangs all posed in this scene, not gonna lie. A group of queer friends at one of their sh uh, bad apartments pausing the board game they were playing to have an impromptu group therapy session. Oh man, you just know Fred is going through it with his dad right now. <laughs> Honestly, stuff like Ash Ketchum has been 10 for 30 years isn't nearly as funny as all of the events of the series taking place in the same year. And it's just been one hell of a year. Wait, Ash is 10? Where are your parents? <laughs> How old is Brock? How old is Brock? He's 15? Shut up. <laughs> City gym leader and ladies man. He's 15. How old is Misty? 10? <laughs> oh my god! Ah! Ah! Historical footage of the last T-Rex serving his country in World War One. But isn't that a Jeep? And the T-Rex is holding a, a Browning M2? Which wasn't used until 1933. So I think this footage is actually of World War Two. I've had enough of hippo propaganda slandering sharks! <laughs> Portrayed in media as bloodthirsty flesh-eating torpedo. In real life, clueless. <laughs> Seven to nine yearly kills in the whole world. Adorable giant herbivore puppy. Territorial killing machine. 500 to 3,000 yearly kills just in their native continent. As much as I adore hippos, this is undeniably just... <laughs> Do you want to see the biggest lie I was told as a Canadian child? It's nighttime in a kitchen just like yours. All is quiet. Imagine or you're a kid it? watching TV or reruns of TV and you see this come on and you're like, throughout Canada and the Eastern United States. What? House hippos are very timid creatures. House hippos? But they will defend their territory if provoked. They come out at night to search for food, water, and materials for their nests. What would you do? The house hippo are chips. You'd be like, I want one! And you'd excitedly not pay attention to the next part. The part that broke everyone's heart. God, this looks different on an old TV. That looked really real, but you knew it could This part! That's why it's good to think about what? what you're watching on TV and ask questions, kind of like you just did. A message from Concerned Children's Advertisers. I lost faith in TV. I lost faith in my family. I lost faith in my friends. Everyone! Because the first time I heard that, I went running off being like, did you know that you could have a house hippo? And I'd be like looking around the house for them. I get little books on the animals trying to look them up. And then I see it on TV again. And this time I'm like, oh, I need to learn everything because I haven't been able to find them yet. And when it gets to the end, it's like... Oh yeah, by the way, it's just a lie. My soul was crushed. <laughs> Captain America! So, do any Avengers have any pressing business? Bleed! Are any of you mother gonna help me fight the vampires? Please! There are so many! Captain America! No. <laughs> oh my god. Blade is Marvel. Spider-Man is Marvel. 
Spider-Man could be a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> the Egyptian Mao is probably the oldest breed of cat. In fact, the breed is so ancient that its name in Egyptian is the word for cat. Did they name it Mao because that's the sound cats make? Oh my god. Now I'm just imagining a very early Egyptian encountering a wild cat for the first time. What the f*** are you? Mao. <laughs> oh, okay then. <laughs> Didn't realize Egyptians were Pokemon professors. Today I learned that Charles Darwin married his first cousin with whom he had 10 children. Three died as infants. Three were infertile. He was the first to raise the question if incest may cause weakness in offspring. After studying inbred plants in his garden. What? <laughs> Charles Darwin looking at his f***ed up tomatoes. Oh, that me. <laughs> Missing the forest for the inbred trees. <laughs> Don't quote me. <laughs> New general philosophy. When something breaks, repair it with chunks of a geode. That actually reminds me of when Japanese pottery breaks. There used to be a really good practice. I think it's called kintsugi, where they would take the pots and they'd repair the pieces with gold. Journalists covering trans issues in the 50s. Former soldier has sex changed to become blonde baddie. She's an absolute smoke show. Journalist today. This male woman is going against the tide by having pronouns. She's very brave for asking us all to play along. XGI becomes blonde beauty. Operations transform Bronx youth. That was Christine Jorgensen, by the way, and I love her. It really is such a recent phenomenon in media to be anti-trans publicly and openly, and transphobia has always been around, but in the media, they used to be genuinely, honestly trying to provide their story. Anybody like to ask a question? And what would you do if a man chatted you up in the bar? I'd pick up my skirts and run. <laughs> 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 Playing Witcher 3 and avoiding having adult fun time with women. This isn't that difficult. I'd say the majority of people that have played Witcher 3 avoided it completely. Oh, you mean in game. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, that's mean. <laughs> that's going to be a good place to end today's video. Thank you for sticking around with my channel, even though it's gone for a while. That was way too long. I'm sorry about that. I did not mean to do that. Whoopsie. <laughs> Blame my computer. Tell the ghost in the machine that it should not do that again. Let me know what you want to see me cover next. There's a good probability that in the short term, I will be making a lot more videos very fast to help make up for some of the time that's been lost. So let me know what you want to see. There's a good chance I'll be able to cover it. All right, my beardos and weirdos. Get out of here. Bye. <laughs>